Okay, we're going to continue looking at our material.angler.io site and taking a look at our components. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to next look at the autocomplete component and look at a particular example and go through and, and do a deep dive and drill down and, and, and try to understand more about what this documentation is trying to show us. Okay, so we discussed several different examples here. I am now going to look at the display value in autocomplete. So what this, com what this particular component is trying to show us is that we could have um, uh, uh, an array of objects for a, a drop-down panel and map those objects to uh, values that are that appear uh, in, in the display panel. So so basically, um, uh, it's it's the more typical case of of application development where you have uh, these JSON uh, an, an array of JSON uh, objects and and basically there's a name and the name I want to display and I want you to choose the name, but but the data in the in the form uh, um, in the form control really is an array of objects. And so you might pick a first name, but, but the bottom line is I get the ability to do what I need to do, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the backing object, in the web service that I'm calling, uh, with the data associated with this, with this um, name that I select. So, so that's the purpose of uh, the example. And, and what we'll do is let's take a look at the code and just just um, talk through it a bit. Okay, so so we do have um, uh, uh, the assignee here, which is uh, uh, we have a form, and and the form has a class, and we have a mat form field, which basically wraps the input uh, uh, input fields and styles them uh, with with its class. Um, and 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 then we have um, we have a mat label which says assignee, and um, we have an input field which basically um, uh, we have an input field which is of type text, and it is a mat input field, and 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 the form and the and the mat input a, a, a directive associated with the input field allows me. To do certain things with this field, um, uh, okay. Okay, so so first, the form control is a map to an attribute called my control. My control is an attribute of the object instance. It, it's 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 an identifier in the object instance, which is pointing to my new um, control uh, uh, input, which basically stores my my value of my input field. Um, and and then we have this uh, this in, this input mat autocomplete, uh, which is pointing to a reference auto. So uh, uh, um, this particular um, uh, mat input uh, uh, input uh, component basically is saying I'm going to point uh, via reference to this auto, which is defined here. Uh, and, and, and that's a reference to this template, the mat autocomplete template. And so the mat autocomplete template um, uh, is basically the thing that's popping up here showing me the names. So, so now the interesting thing here is that, that uh, uh, although this is the mat autocomplete, um, I also have this, this uh, input variable called display width. And display width is basically saying, Okay, this is a function um, that I'm defining in, in my backing object, which basically is going to uh, 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 take the, the data that I'm typing, uh, go through my array of JSON objects, and, and, and basically try to map it to the display um, uh, that's showing here. So, so, for example, if I do this, um, uh, basically what has happened is I've typed uh, the value, uh, the value changes in my input field, got sh um, uh, uh, corresponds to an observable, and those streamed characters uh, went into this function, and 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 this function said, okay, I got this array of JSON objects, 
but let me filter it so it displays uh, what I need it to display uh, at this point in time on the panel. So, so for example, if this was an object, uh, if the backing uh, options were, were, were there's an object with an attribute name and Shelly, and there's an object with an attribute um, uh, name being Mary, etc. Then, then that's what this display with is doing, and that's what this example is trying to describe. Uh, uh, in, in, in the example, it's showing you how to use this display with function. Now, now the mat option um, it, uh, it does have a structural directive here: the star ng4 uh, let option of filtered options. Um, and, and basically what's happening here uh, behind the scenes is we have an array of options and those options are uh, an array of JSON objects and and I'm going to be filtering those uh, uh, you know via um, uh, via a filter function which uh, is going to result in this filtered options observable and I'm going to pipe it into the async pipe which basically is going to say uh, display my filtered options um, uh, uh, with 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 this option name. Okay, so this is an interpolation directive. Uh, this is showing the option name. Okay, so 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 that's why when I when I do this and type in an I, I see Igor um, and and. And the the option name is Igor, but the option itself is a JSON object, and and the and the filtered options uh, and the display uh, uh, function is filtering um, and and mapping that object value to 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 what's showing up on this pop up panel. Okay, so let's 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 go let's take a look at the um, TypeScript code. Uh, and, and try to understand um, what's going on here. Okay, um, so so basically, uh, with the TypeScript file, we basically have a component and on a net, uh, we use the component annotation here, and and our our um, autocomplete display example template. Uh, is this template URL and our styles URL has this example that uh, CSS file uh, we have a separation of concerns here so our object uh, a, jo a JavaScript object and our HTML and our CSS are in separate files and uh, we love the architecture of that because we need that okay and then there's an, an interface user uh, this is going to be used to to create objects uh, with a name um, attribute, um, and and so we'll we'll take a look at that in a minute. We have a form control that we're importing, an observable, and a map, and a start with. So let's take a look at the object. The object is an autocomplete display example. It implements on a net. On a net must be defined at this point. The state of the object uh, has a a new form control variable. My control is used to store the state. Of what the user is typing, um, uh, or the selection of the value of the option value, which gets placed into the input uh, field, um, and and this is the place in the object instance where that data will resolve will reside, um, and and we have this options, which is a an array of uh, it's a user array, and it, and 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 basically is initialized here, the array. And it's a, an array <clears throat> of JSON data. It has a name, each it has a name attribute and a value, each JSON object. So, so what we want to do with the display with um, attribute in in the autocomplete is say we don't want to show the JSON data. We just want to show the name value. So we're ma we're gonna we're gonna be uh, displaying and mapping our objects to the display values in in the panel. Okay, so now what I do is I def uh, what they do is define this filtered options, uh, which is an observable um, um, uh, of of this user array, um, which which means which means uh, I'm 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 waiting for the stream uh, of data, which is a user array, and the user array um, uh, the regular options 
is this user array, my filtered options would be filtering this array, but giving me another user array, which might be smaller because maybe I typed an S in the input field and, and, and my panel would then show an option possible value of Shelley. Uh, so I need this observable to stream um, the results um, uh, and, and not, not only stream the results to the panel, but also to map uh, uh, to display just the value, not not just the ob not the object. Okay, so so that that is the state um, of of my object. Uh, my class is setting up when it gets instantiated, it will have this state and these and, and these these attributes: the my control, the options, and the filtered options. On ng on a nip, what I do. Um, um, what the code is doing is it's it's basically um, it's defining this observable to this built-in observable. Now my control is an is, is an input field. It's a form control, and as the user types, I'm getting this stream of values, uh, uh, and and the value changes attribute of the control returns this observable which streams those values that are being typed as the values change. So, so this on input, what I do, what's, what's happening here is that the observable which is getting instantiated here is the stream of values, but I'm piping it and I'm starting with this empty string. Okay, now this empty string just allows the object to get instantiated and the input, um, uh, the input of the field to be blank, um, as opposed to showing something by default. But, but, but needless to say, this start with can be modified, and, and I could put an S in here, and, and the, 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 the panel would, by default, show Shelley uh, value as an option, and, and not Mary and, and Igor. So, so just, just keep that in mind. But, but the, its initial um, uh, point here is is to start with an empty string upon it, an initialization. But but in, in the process of doing that, the filtered options, I map the value that the user's typed. And, and I check the type of the value is string. And if true, I give it, uh, if true, it's defined to be the value. If false, it's defined to be the value dot name. What what we're doing here is saying there's two cases here where your options could be strings or objects, and I'm handling both of them here at once. And, and notice uh, notice we use the arrow operator here. And we also use the ternary operator here with this question mark and this colon. If this is true, then it's the value. Else, it's the value that name. Okay, now what I do is I also map the name value and if name exists and is un is defined then I filter the name and I do a, a this options slice So the so the basically um, the filtered options which started out looking at this array is now looking at something which is pulling let's say one of these things out uh, on uh, based on the fact that I've typed an S. Okay, so 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 notice the um, um, where does this come in? Okay, so now notice. Um, now notice that this display function here, <clears throat> display function takes the user, and if user and user name 
uh, uh, is is defined, then it returns user dot name, and that's a value, right? That's this value Shelley. Else it returns empty. Now notice uh, there's also a function here underscore filter where basically um, uh, th th this map and, and this arrow uh, function um, uh, this function was was using this this underscore filter name and and the underscore filter name uh, down here came in it came into this function call it took the name put it in lowercase it took the options array and it filtered it now an array has a filter function so basically it used this arrow operator uh, function definition to filter the existing array so the array uh, option name to lowercase if the filter value was in that option name to lowercase that is let, let's see you know this guy um, it, it would just pull that value uh, out uh, and and basically show that on on the option panel. So there, there's there's a lot. I mean, as simple as the example is, there's a lot going on here. There's types. There's TypeScript. There's um, there's uh, this 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 built-in value changes, which is extremely important. That gives you that observable, and then this observable. Um, you're you're piping it into certain mapping functions as you get the stream of values that the user's typing. You're getting uh, uh, you're basically uh, do, doing these different m mapping operations, and eventually, um, eventually, you wind up with something on the front end uh, on this particular panel. Now let me go back. Let me go back to the HTML here. The HTML had this display with function. It's kind of like independent of everything else. And the bottom line is, is, is this work had to happen on the back end to map the users, the typing of, of the users, um, um, the typing of the users uh, uh, characters that got streamed uh, into this observable. And then that observable had to then <clears throat> get get mapped, um, etc. But this display width was, is, is basically doing the work of, hey, we're displaying, no, no matter what you have in these arrays, uh, uh, array, these arrays of JSON objects, the display width is the thing that's saying, I just want to see the value, uh, not the object itself. And when I select, um, uh, when I select, What's happening in the form control is you have the JSON object uh, in in the form control. Let's let's try to verify that. A lot of these examples are not. There's no complete code, so it's a little bit hard to. Uh, to um, to um, uh, exhibit what you really want to want to show, uh, so so let, let's just let's just um, let's just take it uh, take it for whatever it's worth. We'll look at more complicated examples and 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 try to um, try to log and, and and do things that that we need to do. Let's take a look at the style sheet. The style sheet um, once again. Uh, has the styles of the form and um, the mat form field and 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 we can go in here and play around a little bit Okay, so let's think about the first thing that we might want to do here. Um, so 
So, so like I said, the example was really, uh, really trying to, to um, uh, show us how to use this display with input field. So what I'm going to do right now, um, um, uh, for, for, uh, for, first of all, let's just let, let's play around with some of the parameters, and then we'll go over to the documentation, and I'll show you something. Okay, so once again. Um, um, let's see uh, if we had the background here to be um, slate blue. I like light colors. Let me go for pink, and then let's suppose I um, I did. Uh, let's just see what changes here. Now notice uh, notice here this this something I, I like doing um in a, in you know when I'm when I'm researching some of these things. Um, the, what I want to do is is um. try to understand what's what's what in our in our template okay so the form is blue this style here for example form is blue and that does not contain this bottom line now the mat uh, form field um, the, the mat form field has a class and that thing um, that thing looks like uh, and I colored it it, it pink, but that thing looks like it's it's got um, a, a different attributes associated. For one, for one, it, it's 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 got the background color that I've changed, and and um, and so now uh, let, let's let's take a so let's take a look at this for an, uh, another another see anything else. Um, We're just going to change this real quick and just show you that that I can change that. That's in the mat label. Uh, input text, mat input form control, mat autocomplete uh, auto. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do, um, okay, so what I wanted to do was is show you this display with documentation. But what I also want to do uh, very quickly is is go over here um, and notice how this 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 first item became active uh, let's just let's just let's just quickly grab the the, the code um, uh, to do that uh, let's see what where it was this this option here was it was part of the mat autocomplete so the mat autocomplete um, what I'm going to do is notice let's see where am I Notice, notice here. Uh, 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 I have to choose and highlight the item. So mat autocomplete. Let's let's put that here. Let's see what happens. And now, the now I can hit return, and 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 the user does not have to type anything in, and they can just choose the first item. Typically, when you when you list a bunch of countries, the US is typically the first item for that reason. But um, but let's let's move on. So this display with let's go over here and take a look. I'm going to show you the documentation. So the documentation um, shows uh, what is this? This is the mat autocomplete object. And and notice I just added this thing to the example. And now this display with it says that the function that maps an options control value to its display value in the trigger. This is the thing that is an input 
into the, the mat autocomplete component. And, and, and what it's doing is taking my JSON object array and mapping it to the string uh, options array. And, and that's what's being displayed on the panel. So, um, so, so basically, uh, it, it's, it's, it's mapping my objects to these, these values that are showing down here. Okay, so, so and, and also notice that this um, notation in the template means that this component has input into the component. And the input into that component is a display with value. And that value is the function, meaning mat autocomplete component, please use my display function in my backing instance that's defined to filter the display to show just the values. Okay, I, I didn't I, I notice also, uh, we didn't talk about it because we talked about it last time, uh, in the mat options, um, uh, we were showing the option dot name. Uh, we used the structural directive ng4 to iterate through the filtered options, but the filtered options um, uh, were piped into this async pipe. So as the user typed and the filtered options changed, it got piped into the async which rendered the last result of my observable stream. Okay, so that's really all we wanted to sh uh, all we wanted to show. Let's go back to um, the beginning of time. And go back to the example. Oh, my person is still here. So I'm back to square one, and and that's really all I wanted to show for this example. Um, keep in keep in mind that you have a whole project workspace here. You need to know everything inside of it, and what it stands for. Uh, the API documentation. What you'll find um, uh, that that's uh, that you need to do um, is go through this documentation and really understand everything that's here. Now, now one thing that I, I was poking at, uh, poking at, and I'll, I'll update my 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 uh, tutorial with this particular fact. But the thing I found intriguing was this thing, this mat autocomplete default options, because because um, uh, with those default options comes several different things, and and the one thing I I, I was interested in was the height of the option and the height of the panel and controlling everything I need to do inside this panel. And so there's, there's, there's this default options uh, in the documentation, which I found intriguing and, and trying to find out um, uh, 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 defining the height of the options and the panel and, and other things that I can completely control in this example were uh, a little bit over my head at this point, but uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what I think is going to happen is 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 10 uh, 10.1 uh, documentation will turn into 10.2, 10.3, and you'll see more of this stuff that's very uh, interesting that, that you need. So let's let's just end the demo at that. I'm sorry I took up so much of your time, but um, but but we need to understand uh, the autocomplete. Autocomplete is very important. We want to use it right. We want to give. We want to use what Material Design and, and Angular gives us. We want to try to avoid custom application coding and we want to maintain our code properly.